This is a big day for us here at Wood TV 8 uh, and the stations that are involved in the Next Star family across the country. We're all taking part in a day of caring. It's a chance for us to, to get our hands dirty and help out the nonprofits in our community. There are so many that do such good work. Not only does volunteering help the nonprofit organizations, it's good for the companies too when the employees volunteer. And we have several uh, leaders from some organizations here in West Michigan are we here with me. Rick Heisman is with the Boys and Girls Club of Grand Rapids. Thank you for being here this morning. And Adam Earl is a training manager at CH Robinson. So I know this is early for you guys. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> We're glad that you're here. You know, the Boys and Girls Club, we hear all the time about the good work that, that goes on there. What, what does it mean when you get employees from companies coming in to volunteer in an effort like this where it's so many in one day. It's absolutely awesome. I mean, I can't even explain to you how important it is for us as an organization to have volunteers be a large part of everything that we do. Uh, all Boys and Girls Clubs are all independently governed and independently um, funded. And we can't do it without our foundation support, corporate support, and all, of course, all the individuals. And part of that individual need is through volunteerism. So to have volunteers come into our clubs and actually have impact with our kids on a daily basis, it's pretty special. And having Adam and C.H. Robinson be a part of this great group of individuals who come into our clubs, is, uh, it's, it's definitely a blessing. So Adam, tell me, how, how, how is this beneficial for the company, too? It's not just about the nonprofit organization. It's good for the companies. How have you seen that impact? Sure. Um, for our organization, it kind of starts at a corporate level. So um, us being a local office here in Grand Rapids, uh, we actually listened to our employees a few years ago. Uh, it was a part of an employee engagement survey where we um, kind of reached out, and that was part of the initiative that came from that survey as they wanted the opportunity to get out in the community. So we felt as a leadership team uh, in our office, uh, we would go out and we would uh, kind of do a little research and Boys and Girls Club was one of the organizations that we had met with. Uh, we felt that our values aligned very closely with theirs. So uh, I believe the partnership started a couple years ago. Um, we've been able to help in a number of different ways. Um, you know, we've had employees go directly to the club and volunteer. Uh, we've been able to um, volunteer at a number of different events and we've also been fortunate to be able to sponsor some of their events as well. So, so you just get good feedback from the employees and, and feeling good about what they're doing? Yeah, we've found that, um, you know, getting out and doing something outside of their normal day-to-day -day routine, um, you know, number one, kind of just breaks up the monotony of the, the work day a little bit. And then, um, you know, the feeling they get after they go out and help out an organization such as the Boys and Girls Club, um, it's been a very positive experience for us. Well, thank you both for coming in. And part of this isn't just to say, look at what we're doing. It's really to shine the spotlight on these nonprofits that we'll be helping out today. So you can expect to hear a lot more about that as uh, we celebrate this next hard day of caring.